Permit me to end the week, at least my week, with a foray into sappy. While I continue to abhor those who run the Olympics for their human rights violating, payoff taking, blind eye to abuse casting ways, I am drawn to many who participate in them. But with the exception of my awe for the wonders of Usain Bolt, it's likely not who you think. It's those for whom sportsmanship comes first. Two moments stand out for me, both of which I bet you've seen. The first is this incredible selfie. Two young gymnasts, one from South Korea, one from the North. Two nations always preparing for war against the other, while 17-year-old Lee Eun-ju of South Korea and 27-year-old Hong Eun-jong of the North prepare for competition by practicing peace and friendship. And then there was the 5,000-meter race. New Zealand's Nikki Hamblin fell, unintentionally tripping Abby D'Agostino from Topsfield, Massachusetts. D'Agostino got up, but rather than running, she stopped to provide an assist to Hamblin, who was still on the ground. D'Agostino helped her rival get up, but when it became clear that D'Agostino had an injury, Hamlin tried to help her continue the race. But D'Agostino collapsed and told Hamlin to run. Ultimately, they both completed the race. Far back, with local woman limping badly, they hugged at the finish line before D'Agostino was taken from the track in a wheelchair. Can you imagine? You train for years for one goal, but decide in a nanosecond another one matters more. So if the members of the IOC ever get tired of pocket stuffing, have an epiphany, and decide it's time to move on to other nefarious pursuits, I know four women who could do a hell of a job.